So I was a student in school actually when I started having a lot of musculoskeletal pain, neck pain, upper back pain, my headaches, I wasn't sleeping good at all. I first started chiropractic, went to some general chiropractors, got a little bit of relief, but it seemed to be short term. Uh, but the idea made sense to me. I actually met a guy that did this crazy upper cervical stuff where they only adjusted, you know, one bone in the whole body. And I was like, no, when you got all these bones, why only one? And he was like, why don't you just come over and let me, and, and let me show you what I do. He took these x-rays that I, like I'd never taken before. Um, and then he put me on this funky little table, made one little easy adjustment had me rest a few minutes and got me back up and checked me again with that same machine and said, now this is where it was before, this is where it is now, and uh, it looks better. So that doctor calls me later on, he goes, so uh, Ray, how'd you do after your first upper cervical adjustment? And I was like, man, I don't know what you, I don't think I'll be back. I mean, you know, you made me throw up all over the place, knock me out for 12 hours, and he's like, man, that's awesome. I'm like, what do you mean that's awesome? He goes, well, think about it. You had some sort of something in your system that was bad for you, probably a virus or something. Your body woke up and front door was the first closest exit. So it got rid of it, right? And then what happened? Then you passed out for 12 hours. That's when the body heals. You knocked yourself out so you could sleep. My body just kept changing, changing, changing. I felt better, my brain worked better. My immune system got stronger. Uh, so I decided, you know, I was like, I need to do that. I mean, that is unbelievable. That's not your typical chiropractic. That is something special. So that's what led me to be an upper cervical doctor and that's why for 26 years I still love what I do.